welcome to the skinny um, we have a story to tell or I I should say I have a story to tell um, I can't take a whole lot of credit for what happened at the scale, the scale yesterday I can't take some but I you can take quite a bit actually, I can, more than you think more than I think probably but yesterday at the scale I lost 6.8 pounds. Yay! Again, unheard of for me. Yeah. Um, but, but, I did really great Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, I started not feeling well. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and yesterday, stomach virus. Um, it was not pretty. I it was bad. not pretty. I ended up at the hospital Friday morning because I was dehydrated. I went to the emergency room, they hydrated me, um, so I felt much better. Yesterday, I start, I was on the upswing, I, you know, was no longer, I'm not contagious unless, of course, I'm sharing drinks with you, so hopefully she won't get it. Oh, no, um, I'm not getting it. And Just saying. so I, you know, at the same time, I got on the scale and I was like, oh my God. And if I thought, pardon me, I thought, I'm not sure it was worth it because it was not good. But, but you still would have had a big loss. Because I would have. Wait, well, well, because moving on. I lost at the scale 5.4. She did. High five. <laughs> For a total loss of 99.6. Here so we are this again. Week, I will be hitting my 100, just so you know. Yeah. I there will no, there be no doubt. I'm at an all-time loss, high loss of 78. So yeah. I'm knocking on 80. And I think, so, we, yeah. I think the thing that next we week, kinda, this week and, was... And, man, my hair looks really good. I did her hair. Kelly did my I'm hair. I'm trying to teach her how to do her hair. She said I had an old lady hair, so she fixed it. I was it. trying to fix it. So, yeah. So, now, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I was just admiring my hair. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so, I, th along. I think for, for me, I... I did have a loss of appetite. By Tuesday, my appetite started to go. Wednesday, every day, literally, I had no appetite after that. But I have to say, I still felt such a great motivation when I did eat, mm -hmm. when I did get myself to eat. Of course, I was still eating really well. well I, I did two new things. I told myself at the beginning of the week, there was two things I was going to do. One was going to track, track, track faithfully. Not, no slacking, no nothing on it. The other things that I did yeah. that I was very happy about, which I, this is something I don't normally do, and I've said in the past, I do not do this. Yeah. I weighed myself every day. Well, after the first couple of days, I did. And I waited I until didn't. about Wednesday, no, Tuesday to weigh in. Weighed myself at home, and then every day after that, I weighed myself, and I wrote it down. And I, 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 and I told myself that if I, it started being a problem, I was going to stop. And it wasn't. I, I actually used it to motivate myself, and I saw the loss. And the other thing I did, which I don't normally do, is I ate none of my weeklies. None. Yeah. But I don't normally do that. And no. I don't, I'm not oh. telling other people to no. do that. No. I needed to shake up. And I, I told, think I, you just needed to go. I did. You know, you just need to kind of give it a slap. And you know, I told you kind of shake it myself up. if I needed those points because yeah. I was hungry, I would use them. Yeah. No, de no denying. You no. know, it's, it's not about self-denial. Mm -hmm. I think it was really, we've been at that Back and forth and back and, and forth I, and we talked. We were really I'm attempting to, to just mm -hmm. change things up. Again, we've talked about shaking it up in the past. We had hit that where we needed to change things up. Motivation was high, so it was a good time to to make a change because we were both very motivated. And both of us were both looking at these little charts on our Weight Watchers app, and we were really looking at the last, <laughs> specifically the last uh, three months. Yeah, I hope you can see it. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah, I mean down up I mean especially the last if you really look at the last even six months, six months that is just up, all down, up, down, over up, the down. place all over granted when it comes down to it when I look at the all one yeah you know what it's great I mean, it, that's great it's that impressive. says it all yeah but but I need to make the down slope continue right <laughs> So, well, for us, I think we both, re we readjusted. We got we to did. a point last week, at, last week when we were like, you know, why should I, why should I not come away with, from the holidays with a loss? Yeah. Why? And so well, we're doing it. And we both have even said something that you got to, we've talked about this in the past. Shake, shake it Shake it up. up, renew it, make it exciting, make it, sometimes you have to we try harder. We needed to change some things and we needed to, yeah. you know, we both have been, a lot more work and stress lately yeah. and 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 that's you know things have changed in that respect we've both been very busy mm -hmm. and that that does make for you have less time to um mm -hmm. find ways to 
make it exciting and make it True. fun and, and to like take care of yourself yeah. because you're focused on things that have to get done. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of trying to say, okay, what's more important. I've got to make yeah. more of a, take more of time mm -hmm. to focus on this because this is more important yeah. than anything. And when it comes down to it, I, we've been doing this. Almost a year. It's been a year. It's, been a year. No, it's, been a year. it's actually been a year. I was, Happy anniversary! anniversary. <laughs> I was looking back and I'm like, we have. I mean, I see the weight loss. Yeah. Um, it's not you know crazy, but it would've been crazy if we'd started it three years ago. Yeah, battle. yeah. Then you would have seen the the big weight loss. So you know, maybe you know, maybe it's the time. Maybe next week we'll share some of our old picks because I I will be hitting my hundred. So I'll share my. Yeah, she's I'm going to share my 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 pick that I carry with me next week when I hit my hundred, and I will hit it. I have absolutely. She is out. like not having any other way. No <laughs> other way. I'm I'm getting it done, and I think I I think I've real I think I'm ready for it now. Maybe I wasn't yeah. ready. Maybe deep down I wasn't ready for it. I think there's something to be said for that. I really think I wasn't and ready for my 75. About that too. And, and I think that's why I kind of went the other way. And again, it's, it's that whole realization last night I said to her, you know, I'm like 7.6 away from goal, but then I changed it by like yeah. two pounds. So I'm like 9.6 pounds from goal, I think. Here's the thing. I'd set my goal at, at 135. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I have to share. And my range is 109 to 137. And I set it at 135. But then I looked at her and I said, well, if I set it at like 133.8 or whatever, I'm sitting at 133, by the way, I get my 125-pound charm. <laughs> Why would I miss my 125-pound charm by like a pound? She wants that charm. So I want the 120. And they have to order that one. That one they don't have on hand. They have the 100 on hand. They don't have the 125 on hand. I want that charm. <laughs> she wants it. I'm so, getting it. <laughs> so, so we both said, okay, let's change it to 133. <laughs> but then I have the two pounds to fluctuate to 133 to 135. Because you're allowed to fluctuate at lifetime at two pounds. Yeah. So, so that's see? It's even better. It all makes sense. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. But hey, you gotta have something. Hey, to I look love my bling. To. <laughs> and we got we got a charm. We got a charm. Our Weight Watchers leader gave us charms if we attended the last month of meetings and didn't skip a oh, meeting. Extra charm. We I got, got an extra face. charm. Me too. I it's like all face. about the bling. She likes the bling. I'm okay without the bling. I like but the she charms. Likes it. They they are, they they. You look at them as a whole and. They're pretty. They mean something. They Not do. individually, but as a whole, as your hair, holding this weighty thing in your hand, because I keep it on a ring, key ring, it has meaning. Well, here's mine. Let me show mine. Oh, give me mine. You my do stuff. have it. Oh, gosh. And I will show Root you mine. that thing. Is, I ain't doing it. It's it. true. I mean, so I've got mean, some weight. I'm not a huge, I mean, in, like she said, individually, they don't necessarily mean anything Except individually Except the pounded to me. ones. Those do. But looking at, at this as a whole, this <laughs> is... Three years of, of, of really work. This yeah. is three years of, of, of working and time hard. and effort. And time and effort. And they kind of have a, they're kind of that, having that nice little thing to hold to go. I did a lot I, of work. I did all of this. I did it. And, and, and it equates to a 78 pound weight loss. And that's, that, that mm -hmm. mean, does mean something in that yeah. respect. Um, I think too, you, you have to, we, we keep always, oh, sometimes you forget, you for, mm -hmm. you know, you forget the honeymoon phase. You forget, oh, to, yeah. you know, we, we've talked about this many mm -hmm. times before. It's sometimes e even we doing this, yeah. uh, you know, as long as we have for three years, yeah. we're like, we just got to reignite it again. Well, keep I, reigniting and, it and when like it came new. down to it, I had to hit my hundred before January 4th. January 4th <laughs> is our th 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 third year in Weight Watchers. Exactly. That's our three anniversary years. of the first day we ever weighed in Weight Watchers. Yes. And I had to hit my 100 before that. She was, she's I like, mean, I'm there's determined. no way. I'm not. I would be, I would know. That is not acceptable. <laughs> before is, that, I'm hitting my 100. Yeah. So, so I wanted to be able to say that. And I do. I, I kind of see a renewed excitement to just for, um, for, for us now, because I think part of it has to do with a new year coming. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it. It's part of it. I think your big milestone, my big milestone, hopefully coming goal weight. Um, th that's, you know, it's like, I, I would love to hit goal weight in the new year. I mean, like, yeah. even if it's in January, it would be kind of well, exciting in the, like, heck, the, my anniversary of, of weight, three years of Weight Watchers to actually hit goal weight. But even if it's, even if it's not until March or April, it as matter. long as this, in the new coming year, we both hit goal. This, yeah. we're hitting our goal in 17. Yeah. I am to determined actually that we're both hit hitting my actual it. goal weight 
yeah. like the three year mark would be, would be awesome. Kind of oh, exciting it would be awesome. for me. It would oh, be it would kind be. of neat. Absolutely. To say, wow. But I'm not going to pressure myself to do that. No. Um, because that never does you any good. It, you know what? <laughs> it really does not. It does not do you any good. It does not. Although too. I know I'm hitting my hundred. Well, th but there's a difference I between just know. certainty. It's certainty. And, and pressuring yourself. Yep. No, it's certainty. Um, you were pressuring yourself before. I don't feel you pressuring no. yourself. You just, I just know, know you're going to do it. I just know it's going to happen. And I'll have my cute little tiara on next week with my newly styled hair if I can figure out how to do this to my hair. <laughs> I was, we have all... I have to show you what our friend Christy cracks me out. She brought She attends Weight Watchers meetings with us. And she, she, she's, we had Kelly's crown. She yeah. found something in the store and she was cracking up and she because said she had you, to get here's it. Here's my crown. That's Kelly's. Cause you know, I have I, my she pick. She want her crown. Mm -mm. She doesn't want my measly crown. I want my own crown. I'm going to pick my crown. She wants a pick of her crown. So I, she got some Melissa and Doug's so, little kid. Then we'll donate these to, to crowns to, to Ainsley and Zoe or nieces. Yes. So that they can play with crowns. Mm -hmm. But there is there's one, two, three, four crowns I'll get in my here. Pick. So she'll get her pick of crowns. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You'll have to just look I'll at have to try them all on. You have to try them on on look such in the a mirror girl. until I you get such a like. girl. And then we'll donate them. But to I'm them actually going to put mine on because I am back to my 75 Yay! crown goal weight. You, you deserve your crown I today. I deserve my crown today. I'm you do. Put it a little forward so you can see it better. You do deserve it today because you are back. I'm back. You are I'm back, back in the saddle. I'm back in the saddle. Love it. Now, some of the things we have been doing this week, we've still been continuing our our discarding and keeping the things that spark joy. We are not, by no means we done. We've been through clothing, clothing, books, books, CDs. We are not CDs. DVDs, DVDs, CDs, we, not yet. We are in kitchen. We are in kitchen. Presently in kitchen. We've done. We are kind of doing baking some pantry. out of order things that we shouldn't we, have done. We but. are. Um, we are in the baking pantry. Is done. We are. It's cleared out, and it was like how oh garbage my bags? god, it was horrifying. <sighs> and then a tub of stuff I'm giving to my niece. Yes. So, um, wow. So yeah, I mean, it looks phenomenal. It does. I gotta say, it does. One of these days, we may do a little house tour and show you our. Oh, when we reach that purge and we are done purge. we'll maybe do a little um, video of just our particularly just the kitchen it. because yeah. you know it's you know yeah. the kitchen is kind of for us you know so yeah. maybe it's the heart of the home and it's the heart of Weight Watchers because it's all about the food it's all about the food <laughs> um we had a really we had a really great meeting and I think everybody was really everybody considering it's the holidays the time was, of year was really motivated it was really motivating everybody was really excited to to do well and we had two people yeah. have five pound stickers and we did which was great and we did Really great. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, I felt really bad about even taking credit for my loss. You could take a credit for at least five or four or five pounds of it. I I can um, because it was. I, that's not a normal weight loss for me in any no. way, shape, or form. I first week I lost eight pounds. First week ever. On I'm not sure. I lost eight pounds. Have I ever done that? I'm not sure. I, I think you lost six your first week. Maybe back and that's in six point eight. So that was almost seven pounds. That's yeah. kind of nutball. That's kind of nutball. Uh, <laughs> okay, what else do we do? We, we oh, we are almost done with our Christmas shopping. We are finishing some things up today, and I have a lot wow. from Amazon that's going to hit my doorstep. I got a text that I'm going to hit my doorstep. So I feel really Just good. want to be done. The, the tree isn't up. This, we're slackers. No, but the Gym Shore Santas, we collect Gym Shore, Shore Santas, are all out. They're out. Yay. Um, what oh. is it about this? Here's the thing. What is it about this time of year that I, I know it's like there's so many things to do. Yeah. And it just, it just feels like so not enough time to get everything done. It True. It's just like, I feel like because you've added all these tasks, you've got to shop, you've got to wrap, you have to... You have to put, you have to decorate and it's just like, oh my gosh, I have but enough to do already. Mentioning wrapping. Oh. Rap Fest is Saturday. So we'll probably talk wow. to you after Rap Fest happens. I will hit my hundred and then I will be going to Rap Fest. So I'm hoping that. <laughs> that should keep you in control. Will keep, well, uh, we brought up, when we had dinner with we the did. girls, we brought up Rap Fest. Fest. And I, at first they were like, well, that's the day. And everyone we're was like, and I it. said, no, I'm not saying not have food. No. I'm saying. Not banning just food. We love food. Be careful with what we have. Can we be conscious of what we have? So what we're bringing, what we talked about, mm -hmm. she and I are bringing, is yes. pulled pork. Because we both love it. Or pulled chicken. Or something like that. I love that pork. Be, and I, I don't get enough pork. And I love pork. Okay, so that's fine. I want to do pulled pork, me. frankly. Um, I like pulled pork. Whether you put it on a bun or not, doesn't matter. I love it. And I will find a reduced, I'm going to try to find a reduced, reduced sugar barbecue sauce. I know they're out there. Oh, yeah. And um, a reduced fat bun. Yeah. I'll take maybe a little, they're going to have like some other rolls there, but I think they're going to be way too many points for us. Mine. So we'll take our own low fat ones. Yeah. And we'll have a pulled pork sandwich. We'll have fruit, veggies. Yes. We're, We're gonna taking take, a fruit tray. Our friend are. Jenna's bringing a veggie tray. Yes. I'm taking the crustless pumpkin pie. I'm going to take two of them. Yes. So, and then and we're doing fudge. I have a recipe. A I have not made it. Fudge. Now that swerve, I just ordered the granular 
and confectioner packet that you get a bundle on Amazon for 20 some dollars and it's coming today. And I also ordered the individual packets, a packet of 40, which I hated paying that, but I'm gonna try it. I, I have to tell my story though, the swerve story. And then I'll get to the The bunch. last thing I ate Monday evening was a, like a, um, I think a, a little bit of the pumpkin, crustless pumpkin pie for dessert from the swerve thing. And then I was sick the next day. So, and now it's kind of like, I'm associating my memories of being sick with that. So she shouldn't though. I, I'm like, trying to I'd fight be that, but I'm not sure. That. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. not sure I'm going to be able to overcome that. So I'd this, be working this on recipe that. is going to help okay. because I don't think I can. Here's what, it's a sugar-free, it's a fudge recipe. And there's the no picture. cooking required. Are you going to put that on Connect? I will put it on Connect. And actually, I'll probably post it on our YouTube. Can we do that? No, but no. you can put it on. You can put a I link to it. I can, okay, we can. You have to show me how to do that. But or you can put on connect. Well, I'm gonna go our, really slow. I mean, it's talk. We're and talking on the easiest we'll recipe ever. It uh, ridiculous. Um, I mean, I think it's what four so, ingredients. Yeah. So you're gonna need to get. Oh, you forgot the vanilla. Okay, but I, I know it that. It doesn't now. count. You're going to need to have a an eight by eight baking sheet and foil. Have that. Put the foil in the pan. I will probably spray this my foil. It doesn't sheet. say to. It can be an eight by eight, oh, eight, by eight like pan, like a yeah. baking pan, and um, fit, line it with foil. I would probably spray mine a little. I'll probably spray mine a little bit. It's up to you whether you yeah. do. It doesn't indicate that you need to. Right. Um, here's the ingredients. This is how easy it is. Two eight ounce packages of reduced fat cream cheese. <sighs> I think they were doing the reduced fat because sometimes the fat free is so. <laughs> Thick and so, kind of it won't really like. I mean, blend. I might do it this way, and then maybe next time I'll test it where I put one fat free and one reduced just fat, just to reduce it a little and see what happens. But maybe see if it changes the points. It might not change the points. We'll see. But right. you know, I'm going to try it the original way intended Although, first. Um, so two eight ounce ones. I think uh, also a thing might that might be lighter, and and we'll you know let me we'll give you the recipe. But I, this is me thinking. Options okay, if you want to get this in an explore. There's that Greek, 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 um, fat free, uh, the, it's fat free cream cheese. Yes. There's fat free Mine and reduced fat. There's reduced it. fat. It's, it's called, it's a Greek version. It might have more body I know to Kroger, it. Kroger, and I, it's a Kroger brand? Kroger there's brand? Kroger brand. I think there's other brands, but I think it mm. might even be lighter point wise than the reduced fat cream cheese, Maybe but I'm not sure. It. So well, that's just something it. to consider yes. when you're doing this recipe. If you want to experiment. Yeah. Then you need two one ounce squares of unsweetened chocolate like mm. the uh, melt uh, you then you melt it yep um and mm. melt says melted and cooled so you then just cool it a little bit you don't want it steaming hot when you mix everything together um so just melt it and then kind of cool it off just to, so it's not smoking and then hot. add it into the cream cheese and then you're mm. going to take um a, a sugar substitute to equal to one cup of sugar so the swerve, swerve or splenda, splenda equal take your one cup and then get a some vanilla because a you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla or more if you like vanilla. So, yeah. So um, or more, a little more if you like. Or if you more. like other extracts, mint, uh, mint, it you just can maybe and peppermint on your extracts. Yeah, you can got a point. Orange. I just have to love, love, love vanilla. Good I vanilla. Do too. I do too. I have a vanilla bean one. I'll probably use, mm. but you don't need as much with that actual pasty vanilla bean. You use less. So make yeah. sure if you use it, Very you're good. careful. Like now you take it. I'm not. I then you add a half. It says a half a cup of nuts. Well, we changed it. Well, we also tried walnuts, pecans, Pons, and pistachios, pistachios, and they're all the same points. Now, if you add a half a cup for one piece of the fudge, it at, is... At 16. Cut it in 16. Cut it. Well, I was going to get there. Okay. If you add a half a cup of nuts, chopped nuts, it's five points for, for one piece of fudge. Yeah. If you add a fourth a cup of nuts, which is plenty for me, it's four... I would rather shave a point off if I can. Depends True. on how much you love the nuts. Yeah. But without the nuts, it's still four. So, you know what? So, add your fourth a cup of nuts. nuts. I mean, and know, the nuts you like because they're all equal. We tried them all. They're all equal. Now, once you have all of your ingredients, you're going to mix everything in a bowl. You're going to beat the cream cheese, the chocolate, and the sweetener, and vanilla until it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Get all of that nice and smooth and then stir in your chopped nuts if you're going to add the nuts. Yes. Or you know, half a cup, fourth a cup, nuts. whatever you want to do. Them. I love them. Um, once you do that, you're going to pour that into your lined and foiled covered pan. And you're going to cover the pan and then you're going to refrigerate it overnight. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't need to, because it's not one that you're microwaving and getting to a high heat. So you're going to need to refrigerate it. Okay. Then you cut it chilled into 16 servings. And so um, with a fourth a cup of nuts, 
or without nuts, it's four points for one from one of the 16 squares. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to add the half a cup of nuts, you're going to count five. And yep. that's either walnuts, pecans, or pistachios. You have your choice. It's the same pointage. Well, what I, I think I'm going to try very, attempt very to do easy. is I want to attempt to this try to lower the, it. What are you doing? The recipe. I'm just showing it. Oh. Somebody wants to pause it. You can't really see it's blurry. I know. It's too close. But still, that's not helping. It's not helping. <laughs> but um, I will actually post it on Connect, and it's very, very simple. So, yay. I'm excited. What I think I'll, we'll attempt to do, I, I'd like to get it three points per slice if we can. Just I'll because put I it in the thing, and I'll try the well, cream. try the other cream cheeses. Yeah. Try so, it. I want to I attempt to lower it if I can. For, for rat fuzz, because maybe I'll be able to have two pieces. If I can get it to three, maybe I can have two pieces of fudge that's versus the, the one. That's what I want to try. Okay, so we'll, we'll try we'll that. We'll, we'll do push it. the envelope on it and see. And that's what, I think yeah. that's what with any recipe. Yeah. Oh, especially, I think, the baking ones. Uh -huh. It's kind of fun to push and see what you can do to, mm -hmm. to make it so... Hey, if I could shave off a point, yeah. why wouldn't I? And I was talking, my aunt texted us um, on think, on Christmas, and she she's in Weight Watchers as well. And she's, you know, it's, it's it's she's having a time where she's like, I don't want the holidays to just totally derail. Yeah. So we're we've I've already I'm providing the meal, so I'm doing a cornbread stuffing that I'll you know what I'll share the cornbread stuffing next week oh, that okay. our weight, Rachel gave me, our Weight Watchers leader gave me. That's you put into muffin pans, little. So your servings are already done, and it's I think three points per cornbread stuffing. And we'll do honey um, baked ham. We'll so do. and then I'm gonna do mashed potatoes, just plain mashed potatoes, not loaded with butter, because I like mashed potatoes, and they're really not that bad. Green beans, green or beans, or zero. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then she's gonna do two two sugar free or Weight Watchers desserts. She's gonna do the desserts. And so I think we'll do good. some maybe low low calorie rolls. You know yeah. we can. Do like crescents maybe that are reduced fat. Yeah. I think those are three points or four points a piece. So I'll point all that out. I'm going to point the whole meal out and take it. Yeah. And I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling I'm good very it excited. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm empowered. I know what I'm going to serve. I know what I'm serving Christmas Eve for my, my, my um, dad's side of the family. That, that's where we'll, the one it's going to be chaos because the there's like babies everywhere um and and that'll be fun Crazy but we usually babies. traditionally just to do it was always a night where we did sandwiches and and potato salad which was our grandmother's recipe yeah. and and we could do macaroni and cheese or baked beans or whatever yeah. it was it was just really more of a casual evening yeah. with potato chips kids and, opened their gifts and, and it was just a free-for-all more laid back so, so it's, we but, still kind of do that more traditional on christmas if i can do the obviously since i'm the only one who can make the potato salad I reduce fat it yeah so, we, no so one knows. nobody knows nobody we knows. together I mean we make such a huge thing of it I mean it's yeah. ridiculous it takes both of us to kind of like she's like she's got her up to her elbows in oh, it while I I'm am. putting all the stuff in. I am it's, <laughs> it's like crazy. all up to here it's, it's, it's crazy. like a, it's like a four-hour process it's for the potato salad but it's delicious but oh you know what I don't overeat with it I usually it's, will eat it I will usually eat a serving of it and I'm done it's hard to overeat because it's and I don't even because it's not sweet but it's Rich, it is you rich. Call it I rich. Think it is. It's a rich, it's good recipe. It's my but grandma, it's very good. It was my favorite food as a kid, so, so she taught me to make it. So because you know we've we've been thinking, of course, you you know that's the goal yeah. is to, and you don't want to you don't want to get to a point where you're overthinking all you it. Think about don't but overthink think it. Think about it and prepare. I I feel and be excited about it. I feel good. I feel I'm excited for the holidays. Mm -hmm. I'm not dreading them. Nope. Because now I feel I feel both of us are feel in control and I feel empowered by what I'm gonna do. I do. Oh, and speaking, I have to what? show you. It's one of the things I got for my birthday. Oh. Is a it's called a mantra band. Let me take off my other bracelet though. And it says, embrace the journey. These are really cool. I love it. It's so, it's so cute. It just says embrace, embrace, is it embrace your journey? I can't even see. I have no Let me glasses, put glasses on. on. I don't want to mess this with really my sad. This is sad. It's, I think it's embrace, embrace, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Which is even more important. Which I always say embrace your journey. I do. I think enjoy, everybody, everybody should, should but enjoy is even more important. But I always say embrace the journey. So, and I embrace my journey wholeheartedly, even when... I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do. I mean, even you're struggling, just just keep telling yourself. Even when it's hard, I know it was hard for us for a while, and it was. I just kept saying to myself, "But, but don't quit. Really but don't never give up. Yep, never it's give up. Not an up. option. You know, and that's it's that's one of the things else. our leader said. Yeah, yesterday was never give up, and it's and it's I'm never giving up. You know, so I, I I'm gonna tell my story. I'm gonna tell another story. I hate to make this go too long. Okay, but what's your story? So in the, when I went to the emergency room on Friday morning, okay. um, I was talking to the woman who was checked me in. She took me back. She was, we were chatting a bit and she's like, oh, have you had any weight loss lately? Cause you know, they're asking you these questions. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm on Weight Watchers. I've lost this much weight. She goes, oh my gosh, that's so great. She goes, my daughter's on Weight Watchers. And I've been on it before and I really love it. 
and we were just chat all over. We were just chatting and, and we were joking. I said, yeah, I'm one bug away. I'm one stomach bug away from goal weight. And she started laughing. We were both howling. And <laughs> nobody <laughs> understands like, so he's a weight watcher. Nobody, nobody gets watcher it. totally gets that. So, you know, it was just kind of nice because we're everywhere. Yeah. And, um, and all I could think of was, and she goes, yeah, she goes, I gave up on it and I shouldn't have. And I said, you know, I said, I always tell myself I'm I'm I said it doesn't matter how long it takes me to get there because I'm never giving up so it doesn't matter how long it really like does this take anyway because so what's what's really the rush you know I, yeah I want to get there and the goal is always to get there because that's up the point of never giving up it, you get there it, it sometimes it's not going to take it's in your own well, I mean, time we both thought oh we'll join Weight Watchers a year later we'll be a good weight oh I was convinced but it, it, three years here we are three years later and we're still we're going to do it that just wasn't our it. that wasn't our path yeah we needed to do it the way we did it so i'm hoping i inspired a former weight watcher to maybe consider doing it again mm -hmm. and and i hopefully she tells her mm -hmm. daughter the story and her daughter continues in her journey and you know it's she good. it's and she gets to goal i mean the point is just not never give up yep that's the thing. Okay, so now that I've told my other hospital story, I will see you guys 100 pounds later 